Hello, and uh, welcome to our fifth webcast in this CAD CAM SLAM series. My name is Craig Terrian. I'm a product manager here at SOLIDWORKS. Um, and today we'll be seeing Visual Mill for SOLIDWORKS, uh, a seamlessly integrated CAM package from Mexoft Corporation. Um, on the phone with me today are uh, representatives of uh, Mexoft, uh, Uday, and also Jerry. Um, as well as Mark McGinn, uh, who's a customer who also who uses both uh, Visual Mill for SolidWorks and SolidWorks. Next slide, please. Okay, so just a little bit about what we'll be seeing today. Uh, first, uh, a little bit about the CAD CAM SLAM webinar series, partners. I'm going to show you the integrated and non-integrated manufacturing processes. We're going to get a, an overview of Visual Mill for SOLIDWORKS from Mexoft. Um, uh, we'll also see a demo of SOLIDWORKS and, and Visual Mill for SOLIDWORKS working together. We'll get a customer story from Mark McGinn from McGinn Design and Fabrication. We'll have a summary and we'll have live questions. So um, during the presentation, what we'd like you to do is to write questions into the panel in your GoToMeeting panel. So if you look at your GoToMeeting panel, there's an area there where you can type in questions. So as we go along, please type in the questions. And at the end of the presentation, we'll, we're going to have a uh, we're going to leave time to answer those questions. So if you do have a question, uh, type it into the panel, and we'll answer it at the end. Next slide. So just a little bit about the CAD CAM SLAM webinar series. Um, why are we doing this series? Well, first to um, introduce everyone to uh, SolidWorks world class certified gold CAM partners. Those are CAM products that are fully integrated with, with SOLIDWORKS. And secondly, um, is to allow you to evaluate which integrated CAM solutions best fit your situation. What are the benefits of this series? Well, what we hope you'll get out of this is that you'll find ways that you can dramatically improve communications between design and manufacturing, find ways you can save time and money by eliminating translations and import and repair and rebuilding, um, ways that you can incorporate design changes late in the cycle rather than freezing your design and having to wait until the design is done before you start your manufacturing. We're hoping that ultimately this will shorten delivery times and also reduce uh, rework and scrap and give you better quality manufactured parts. Next slide. Uh, where do you find information about uh, partners, SOLIDWORKS partners? Well, one place you can go, if you know the name of the partner or one of their products, you can go directly to our website, type in to our search panel uh, the name of the product or the name of the company, and all the information, case studies, information about that partner will come up. Um, if you want a more uh, uh, detailed search, you can go on our products page, go to our partner products, and you can type in a lot of different keywords that you can search differently. Also, while you're there, don't forget to see our uh, partner quick flicks. These are small, uh, short videos that show ev all our partner products uh, working with SOLIDWORKS. Next slide. One thing I'd like to talk about first is why we're doing this whole uh, CAD CAM SLAM series. One of the key things we're trying to do is have people understand what the value of having an integrated design through manufacturing process. And what that means is that um, design and CAM all in one window, basically, all in this case within SOLIDWORKS. So let's look at this uh, traditional design through manufacturing process. And in this example, I'm using mold design. So in this, in this case, I have my first system as a, as, a, as a CAD system. And let's say I design my plastic part. Say it's a 3D CAD system. And then um, you might say, well, I'll take that part and I'll export it to the people who are designing my mold tooling. And that might be a different system. Um, so we have the design of the mold inserts. They find some issues with draft and some undercut problems. Maybe they have to modify the parts. So there's this back and forth that goes on between design and, and, and between part design and 
tooling design now where every time you go back and forth you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, re-import and export and everything so that takes a little time then the next thing you might go to a a mold based system one that does just the mold base or one that does just the drawings and that might be a, a different system it might even be a 2d system um, then the next thing you, you're saying is well I'm exporting to my cam system well if it's a 3d cam system and you're sending a 2d data you're going to have to remodel that 2D data in the 3D CAM system. So there's another transfer and time consumption that you're doing to, to create this 3D geometry. Um, even if you do get the 3D geometry over there, sometimes you have to repair that geometry. You have to uh, correct errors or maybe some of the geometry doesn't come through. And then finally, you get to the CAM programming. And all that seems okay until you hit a design change. And when you hit a design change, all right, what's going to happen is, you're going to have to start the whole thing all over again because the design change typically is triggered at the at you know at the part level. You're going to have to go through that process all over again. And you see that there's a lot of situations here where you have import and repair. And every one of those, I have a stop sign showing you that it's stopping the, the seamless integration of your design and manufacturing process. Next slide, please. So what are the disadvantages of the non-integrated design through manufacturing process? Well, one big one is that data translations create the barriers. Those are the stop signs. Every time you import, uh, export and import geometry. Also, data accuracy is in jeopardy because you're not exactly sure, first of all, who controls the model. Is it the tooling guy who's controlling the model? Is it the CAM guy who's controlling the model? Is it the, is it, is it the part designer who's controlling the model? So at that point, a lot of times you don't even know who, who has the model. What's the current state of the, of the design model? Is, my, is the thing coming out of CAM going to actually create a part that will match what the designer designed? Also, concurrent design is, is prevented because you can't be making changes to the part designer, to the tooling, and having everything, the CAM program, the plastic part model, everything update. So you can't really work concurrently. It's, of course, time consuming. Some studies have shown that up to, in the mold design area, up to 70% of the time spent modeling is in I exporting and importing and repairing models. So that's a huge amount of time, especially in mold design. And then, of course, because you have so many systems, it's expensive to maintain and train people on so many systems. And the amount of money that you're, you're, you're putting out in uh, maintenance dollars and training and everything is, is very expensive. Next slide, please. So let's look at a different system. We're looking now at the fully integrated design through manufacturing process. Is if you look at this, there's one slide. Everything's in yellow, which means everything's in the same system. And you can do all of these functions in the same system, including I even threw in structural analysis. And this is the environment that, that SolidWorks works in, where we work with our gold cam partners um, and other partners too uh, for a complete solution that's all in one system. Next slide, please. So what are the advantages of fully integrated design through manufacturing process? Well, first, data translation is avoided. You don't have to worry about exporting and re-importing your designs. Data accuracy is secure. You always know that the design model is the master model. That drives everything downstream. It drives the tooling. It drives the electrodes. It drives the uh, drawings. It drives the CAM programming. Everything is integrated, and everything's based on the design. So you never have to worry about any one of these uh, uh, functions being out of sync. Concurrent design is promoted. I don't have to wait until my design is complete before I start my CAM programming. So I can start initial CAM program programming earlier on, and as design changes come, I don't have to worry about really getting hit heavily by having to re restart all my NC programming. Um, it's far less time because obviously I'm not exporting and importing all the time. And because everything's in one system or in systems that are fully integrated and similar, it's less costly to train and maintain um, these types of systems. So next slide, please. So now that we've kind of introduced this design through integrated design through manufacturing, all right, I'd like to introduce uh, Jerry Hiller from Mexoft Corporation. They're the uh, uh, makers of Visual Mill uh, and Visual Mill for SolidWorks. Jerry, why don't you take it away? Thank you, Craig. Thank you, everyone, for attending today. I uh, want to go over a, a company overview real quick. 
We were founded in 1997 by uh, developers from Unigraphics. Uh, we had three uh, founding principles. First was to offer an affordable, easy to use, full featured CAM solution, or CAM solutions plural, uh, to provide excellent customer service and support, and to deliver unbeatable prices uh, and price performance in the industry. And we believe we've done that. Our corporate office is located in uh, lovely Southern California, to the beach there. This gives you a uh, preview of the, uh, our distribution map. Um, our sales training and technical support in the United States, it's actually direct through Mexos, or all of you who are listening in the United States. Um, we do service you right here in the United States. Everything internationally or outside the United States and Canada is done through qualified bars. You see uh, all those stars on there. That's where we have um, the, uh, our bars located. In the bottom right, you can also see flags, uh, 10 of those. Those are the uh, languages our software has been localized in. This is actually changing usually on a uh, monthly or even quarterly basis. Next slide. As far as our CAM solutions go, uh, the first one was called Visual Mill, and this is a standalone product. We released it in September 1998. Um, our current version is actually uh, our sixth version. It's called uh, version 6.0. We offer 2.5, 3, 4, and 5 axis indexing. Just to point out that we are currently in beta testing for version 2012, and that will actually include 5 axis full continuous as well. Um, in July of 2009, we released, we released an integrated product called Visual Mill for SolidWorks. This came with the same core CAM technology that we've produced for uh, almost 13 years. Um, we received gold partner status in May of 2010, so not much, not, not much long after. Uh, we're compatible with uh, SolidWorks 2008 to 2011 and 2012 pre-release as well and we're 32-bit and 64-bit compatible. Next slide. The three primary advantages of Visual Mill for SOLIDWORKS is uh, the ease of use. Um, it's, it's also very powerful and we're value-driven. What you'll see is uh, very seamless integration because we work within SOLIDWORKS. So you're already familiar with the, uh, the design environment so you can get up and running very quickly. We have full model associativity, as you'll see in the demo a little later on. If you do make changes, we do flag or notify the designer that changes have been made. We offer advanced machining methods, and I'll get into that a little more in the next slide. And we also have an extensive list of post processors. Um, if, we, uh, if it's a standard GNM code controller on your CNC, if we don't have a post processor, we can usually put one together fairly quickly. So this gives you a list of all the different uh, programming methods or mach uh, machining methods we offer on the two and a half uh, axis, you pocketing, profiling, facing, uh, three, three axis, horizontal roughing. We get into some more advanced like uh, tracing valley remachining, plateau machining, curve machining, so forth. Uh, four axis, index machining, continuous facing, and then five axis. As I mentioned, presently we're, we're on the indexing side, uh, the tombstone machine, to, 2.5 axis methods drilling and so forth. Next slide. Just want to uh, touch quickly on uh, one of our case studies. This is a company called Metamoro in Brazil. And this particular part was a little too complex to machine by hand. This uh, connected to a motor on a, uh, on a, a race car. Uh, they needed to manufacture it in very low volumes, but at reasonable cost. So our dealer in uh, Porto Alegre in Brazil, uh, a company called Max3D, who is a uh, qualified SOLIDWORKS bar, went in, uh, evaluated the situation, and in less than 64 hours, actually from concept to finished part, they had um, basically from the SOLIDWORKS part to a finished part that was actually testable. This uh, particular case study is located on our uh, website at mechsoft.com, and you can go there and read a little more about it. Next slide. This gives you a, a very short list of some of the customer testimonials we have. We have quite a few others. If you go to mechsoft.com, not only will you see these, you also see a very extensive list of uh, case studies for, from our other customers that range from uh, you know, machine tool, uh, shop, I'm sorry, a uh, number of different industries. So next slide. 